Now at five, a crash just hours after Brightline returns to normal operation. The train hit us. A grandmother and her grandbaby were in that vehicle. Thank God everybody's okay. Tonight, a closer look at Brightline's trouble on the tracks. This crash happened at Northeast 3rd Street and North Flagler Avenue in Pompano Beach. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has been on this story since it happened. He joins us with surveillance video of the crash and reaction from Brightline officials. Ted? Yeah, Lauren and Ali, wait till you see that video. It is incredible that no one was killed or seriously injured. It happened right behind me here on the tracks. Investigators say it appears a woman turned onto the tracks for some reason and couldn't get off in time. Heart-stopping surveillance video as a Brightline train slams into a car that was on the tracks. This is at MLK and Dixie Highway in Pompano Beach. The train hit us. You can't beat Brightline. You can't beat Brightline. Thank God everybody's okay. Incredibly, moments later, we see a 71-year-old woman get out, and she wasn't alone. A 71-year-old grandmother and her one-year-old grandbaby were in a car heading eastbound on MLK Boulevard when for some reason she turned right onto the railroad tracks, literally drove her car on the railroad tracks. People nearby raced to help that woman and her grandchild. The lady just walked out of the car, literally. You see her walk out and there was also a baby in the car and the baby was okay too, so that's, that's a miracle. According to Fire Rescue, it appears the woman was on the tracks even before the gates came down. It's unclear she was trying to turn here onto Flagler Avenue in front of these businesses and she just turned too soon and literally was on the tracks um, when the train came along, so the arms were not flashing when she got onto the railroad tracks. We unfortunately had a tragic reminder that we really need to continue to implore the public to be careful and safe around railroad tracks. Brightline President Patrick Goddard happened to be on board the train. This was the relaunch of service. Brightline closed down for more than a year during the pandemic. Goddard said despite the crash, the signals worked as they should. What I can tell you is that everything operated as it was supposed to at our grade crossing. The gates were down, the bells were ringing, the lights were on. It appears that that grandmother had minor injuries. The child was in a car seat. The child was not injured. Both, however, were taken to the hospital to be checked out. Both are expected to be okay. Meanwhile, BSO is investigating. Live in Pompano Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Good thing they're okay, but this just keeps happening. Ted, thank you for that live update.